Hey people, welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. As you can see today, I'm looking all bright and happy. Yeah, just for you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for always coming back to watch new videos. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. You the first get to know me and give you asked some questions. So I just decided to go for a trip. <laughs> Let's get right into it. The first question, what's your relationship status? My relationship status, no ring, yeah, no ring yet. Next question, I need your help concerning my business, both advice, moral support, and I need you to be my air plug, and I also want you to lead me through, cause I lack promoting skills and how to improve business. What works for me might not work for you. What you sell actually determines the steps you take to try to discover what works for you. Yeah, you want me to be your air plug, no problem sure that you have the you know cash. Yeah, so I'm going to leave you to you like promoting skills and all. I think I am going to do a video on how to promote your business and how to improve your business because I I got a lot of questions. I got a lot of questions like that during this um Okay. Yeah. All right. Next question. Could you share whatever recipe for flat tummy you get that works? I've tried series and all for not. Only thing I know I tried at some point that actually worked was um I stopped eating this. anything past seven. I don't eat again. If I'm very hungry, I just take water or I take fruits. So that that helped me a little bit. I wouldn't eat breakfast till 12 p.m. So that's like brunch. And from after that, after eating past 12, next time I eat again is around maybe four, five, or six. So anything past seven, I just buy apple. It works 100 percent Do you have other side hustles? Yes, I do. How do you grow your money? Are this are there safe investments? If you know any that I can put my business money into to grow that I tested and trusted. Yes, I know some. And um, there was a time I wanted to venture into something like that to like personally on my own. But I don't think it's going to work. I'm not really sure for now. But like if you need me to recommend some, you can. But like you have like a minimum amount of money that you can start with. I do it and it's tested, it's tested and trusted. What's your biggest drive? My biggest drive, I do not want my kids because there were some things i went through when i was very little not like i suffered or anything my parents were actually they lived a comfortable life or in a way but then there were some things i wasn't comfortable with so a lot of embarrassment a lot of sad times as a young girl that i went through on my own but i couldn't complain because my parents were actually trying at that point those things i never want my children to go through it i just have to work with my money but i just know that okay my future i don't want to be i don't want to be the, part, the kind of person depending on a nine to five job salary a monthly salary or something i want to be independent i want to know i have to make this money then i'm the kind of person that i love fashion i have to sleep and i can't be sleeping around with guys to get the money so I have to work and the fact that i know that there is like a bigger plan god has a plan for me in the future i have to impact lives i have to touch lives how am i going to do it i can't be lazy about it because this is not just about me anymore it's about so many other people so like now i have to start working towards it those things are the things that keep me going they drive me Mine is like a request for you, but in 2020, can I learn the business way with you? I need someone with an office to really put me through. I'm actually looking for serious minded people to also meet in 2022. Please, if you are sure that you are in 100% and you're not going to be lazy, you won't get tired along the line, please hit me up. Let us make up. Now, this question, and this question will be a very nice question. So, like, when was the last time? Question. How do you cope with all the demands of owning a business from academics? Truthfully, I admire what you've done in terms of Innova. How do you create good online presence, especially Instagram? I cannot believe I'm not really a, a business person because I'm very tiring. Honestly, business is very tiring. Not not talk of when you're not even combining it with academics. One thing I just know is that 
business is one thing I love doing so I don't even see it as I'm doing anything it's something I love and I'm the kind of person that I'm you can say I'm antisocial I don't really have friends I don't visit people I don't go for parties I don't do anything any spare time I have I just like focus it on my business 100 percent concerning Instagram one thing I did in 2019 was I actually paid someone to help me do some things on Instagram it actually worked but then I couldn't keep paying the person and he got on serious along the line I needed someone very serious I used to like follow so many other business pages, there are bigger brands on Instagram I used to follow them and I used to see how they do their things so in a way I try to imit not imitate like 100% I just try to study the pattern of the things they do and apply it to my own business I want to start a business this 2020 but I don't know what to start with I don't know if people are going to patronize me and I'm scared Please, how did you do yours and how were you able to get to this stage? Let me ask you a question. Why are you doing this? Are you doing this because you see other people doing it? Are you doing it because you want to make money? Or are you doing it because you have a vision? You really want to do this? Ask yourself, which, which, of, this, which of this can you say yes to? If you are doing this because your friends are doing it, you also want to feel at home. I will tell you that you are making a very big mistake. If you are doing this because you want to make money, you will make the money along the line, but it's not going to last because what is driving you is different. Business is not all about making money. You will make losses, you will cry and see. So like if making money is what drives you in business, you will actually get, you will be disappointed and you will get tired and you have no other choice than to stop. But if what drives you is like a vision, you have something you want to achieve. No matter what happens, you are going to keep going. And there's no how you keep going. Keep going means you are consistent and actually, right? When you are consistent, there's no how you are consistent with anything that you are not going to go for. That is just the key. Consistency is key. Ask yourself why you want to do this. What can you start with? What do you like? What do people see on you that they admire on you? That was my story from. Actually, I started from makeup. Well, that's a story for another day. But you get, I used to love makeup. Well, maybe not as much as, not really anymore. And then I moved to other things that I actually love. If you ask me what can you start with now, if I want to be selfish, I can just tell you, you can join my distributor scheme. You can start selling ads. But the people see good ads on you. If people don't see good ads on you, they wouldn't want to buy ads. They'll be like, okay, just like, okay, for example, I'm trying to advertise my skin to you and I have pimples all over. Will you buy? The moment I even approach you, you ask me that, okay, you say this thing is working, you want to buy, you want, you want me to buy it. But look at your own face, you're not able to tell it first. So how do you expect me to believe that? You understand? But there's no how I come and meet you with my face looking like this, that if you are not going to buy. I hope you get my time. How did you get to grow your brand? Um, like I said, consistency is key. Literally. There are so many other things involved. But I think I'll have to do another video, like a detailed video for that. How do you do your finances? Not mixing business money with your personal own money. Hmm. I am kind of still struggling with that. But then I am a lot better. This time last, last year, I was so, 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 so stupid with spending. Anything business money like this, I am spending it on anything that comes. At the end of 2018, I was like, Babe, you've been working, and I still remember that I have some custom. I had some customers in 2018 now. They alone got goods over 50,000, not to talk of the rest. And I'm like, if this person bought this, this other person bought this, that person bought this, I have made over, and how much do I have right now? I was just like, no, 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 this has to go with like stop in 2018. So, 2019, okay, the end of 2018, I got a piggy bank that's colo. I got a um, I had to open one more bank account because I had two earlier. So now I had three. So I had actually had discussions with some people that um with some people that are very like prudent in spending. Is that a correct word? I don't know. People that are very good with spending though. So I had a discussion with them. So I noticed that I had three bank accounts. So they told me that I should use the first one for my spending. That one for business, I shouldn't touch it. And the one for the third one should be for my savings. I tried doing that That's over a while, but I'm like, you can't get rich from savings, actually. You have to do something else. So I started investing the money, but then I was saving daily in my polo. Any amount I have, I put there. And I don't collect cash for my business, but any other person, any, anybody that doesn't have um, 
that doesn't that cannot transfer or has a tangible excuse like just listen to them and collect the cash in my pillow or if i have something to do with cash at that moment i just like spend the money and transfer the money to my bank to my business bank bank account i was just so very careful with spending money in 2019 although not very stingy to myself i still like broke some rules bought something that i wasn't supposed to buy but then i it was very very minimal and it helped me um we don't know each other but i want to commend you i've always seen your status and i'm happy i'm always happy because you're a good businesswoman who doesn't take nonsense yeah i don't take nonsense i would have loved to patronize you but i'm a guy i sell glasses for guys okay please buy patronize me Unless you don't wear glasses, why don't you wear glasses? Even if you don't like shades, you should be able to wear these transparent ones. And I don't have a girlfriend, but don't worry. This coming year, I will look things out. And one more thing, I love you and your boo. You guys are amazing. Thank you. I love lovers, but I don't have any. Why? I don't know you, but I really love you. You are a true entrepreneur. How long have you been an entrepreneur? Okay, if I'm going to say officially, I'll just say like 2017 slash 2018. But... I've been an entrepreneur since I was a very little girl. I was still since like 10 years. I just loved making money. What plan do you have for Innova products, especially skincare and Ife when you graduate? Or you have agents who will keep who will, who will keep getting in touch with. I have my distributors, but and some of my ambassadors all over OAU and Ife. Definitely after I graduate. Innova will still be running in way. So getting the skincare products is not a problem. You guys, all you just have to do is to order online. I send a particular pickup date and you pick up from someone. How do you build your client base? And our uh, majorly business tips and tricks. So like I said, I'll be doing a video concerning that very soon. How I build my client base. Literally, I try to notice my target audience. I try to notice what they actually wanted and um, I noticed what they actually wanted but at the end of the day I noticed again that most of them their budget does not fit into what they actually want so I tried to find a way to balance both and that's like a business tip I just gave you right now sometimes I even pay to get people's contacts on WhatsApp what were the challenges you faced when you started and how do you cope with debtors challenges not enough capital not having people that i could give the job to and do it the exact way i wanted i had issues with logistics I had um this issue of buying stuff buying the wrong things sometimes i cry one other challenge i had was customers they talk to you anyhow but you still have to be calm try to calm them down how do i cope with debtors actually i never sell my goods on credit no questions babe thanks for entertaining me yeah, I entertain people a lot on WhatsApp. So you can check my bio for my WhatsApp number. Hand me up and tell me to add you because my status is always on one point. Continue being you though. Though we don't talk, you're gonna be bigger and great. Thank you, amen. I hope to get my organic cream set from you soon. XOS, so please. I'm actually I'm actually expecting you to. What's your favorite skincare product? Of course, my brand products, Nova. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. I'm the first born, followed by a guy, and then two girls. Is Nova your only source of income? No. Or you're into some other investments? Yes. Do you have interest in investing in people's businesses? No. But if it's bigger brands and all, I can buy shares. And I really like you, and I would love to be a very close friend. Is that possible? Very possible, but I'm just scared of these days i know this doesn't concern are you and your bobo still together yes how do you source for capital i love your business i just use my monthly allowance to do whatever i want to do so instead of spending i turn it over then middle of that month or the end of that month i get my money back and i have profits don't you want to have a relationship with god a close one I have a relationship with god and I work on having a closer one daily. How do you survive amidst all storms? You know you have a lot of haters, right? Even close friends, you hear and see things. How come you don't let it get to you? So I've noticed that people that hate on you for no reason, they are actually miserable with themselves. And honestly, I've gotten to a point where I'm always happy when you do that. And I'm like, oh, you're also eating. Oh, you're also miserable. Oh my God, I'm so happy. That's the feeling, okay? I was not like this before. I used to be very scared. What I just do is 
my expectations with everybody is very very low. So there's nothing you can do to me that will actually hurt me. How easy is it for you to drop friends? Very easy, like at the snap of your finger. I always think you'll probably tell the world about bad things. Now the world hates me. Who cares about the world? Why do you have to say about the world? Just just live your life as if it's only you that you're on earth. Huh? This one said I want to be rich like you. How can I? I beg go, please oh, don't chase my empire away. I want to be a distributor next year. Hit me up on WhatsApp. We have come to the end of that. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and um thank you for watching to the end. If there's any other thing I didn't address that you like me to address, please leave a comment, send me a message on WhatsApp or Instagram. I'm going to reply. I love you guys and see you guys in my next how to eat the room. Who will teach me? Video. Peace out! Peace out! Peace out. <laughs> my glowing skin. Like, peep my glowing skin. No light, no artificial light.